Hello everybody and welcome to Reactivated, welcome to another edition. Now we will start with, of course, the return of Bot Bits on the screen. Behind me you will see a zoomed in shot and again we are looking for the series, remember? There is a clue in the picture, might be in the way of it. Adds to the, uh, adds to the excitement there, doesn't it? You can let me know what you think Bot Bits is this time, the answer will be revealed a bit later on in the show. As we move on to our fantasy fight, it's the second fight of the Heat semi-finals. And it is, of course, the remaining two Apollo versus PP3D. Not really a fantasy fight here, which I'm a little bit underwhelmed because they obviously fought each other in Series 8 twice. Of course, they met in the, um, the, the fourth Heat of Series 8 in the first round in the melee where PP3D did a lot of damage. Uh, and then, of course, in the head-to-head, -head, in the battle in the group stage, uh, where Apollo KO'd, got a flip, and flipped PP3D out, out uh, across the arena and won. I'm going to be a bit controversial here. For my fantasy fight, based on what PP3D 3D did to Apollo in the knockout fight in the heat, getting to close to the wheels, because they were exposed to Apollo, weren't they, they were the wheels, PP3D would get close to the wheels, which it did do, render it immobile, and I think PP3D, working properly, would KO Apollo. So there you go. That is my final. PP3D beats Apollo. And we'll go through to the grand final, where they will be up against 13 Black. Who will win? Find out very soon on Reactivated as we now move over to a bit of fighting talk. Okay. Who remembers Panic Attack? Okay, everyone remembers Panic Attack. Not what I was really meant to ask there. Who remembers Gold? A gold edition of Panic Attack. We're going to be talking here Bit of Fighting Talk, Series 6 version of Panic Attack. Oh my goodness me. Now, I loved Panic Attack. Every single war it was in, I always wanted it to win. But for Series 6, for some peculiar reason, they decided to completely rebuild Panic Attack and go for something a bit different. And it really didn't work. Kim Davis, the, the driver, the team captain of Panic Attack, expressed on screen in his interviews with Craig Charles and in the pits, how unhappy he was with the design. So, of course, it, it barely scraped through the first round of Series 6. It was ranked 8, seed, seeded 8. Of course, the 8th seed was the cursed seed, wasn't it, throughout Robot Wars. Um, Chronic and Rocks and Corkscrew, of course, Corkscrew nearly battered Panic Attack, ripping off the, uh, the the back of the machine. And then Chronic flipped Panic Attack. They were nearly dead. A-Kill, okay, yep. They had a pretty easy fight against A-Kill, and then the Heat Final coming up against who we all knew were going, was going to win, Terahertz, the new improved Terahertz. It was the first time Panic Attack failed to reach the, the semi-finals in the competition. Now, the weaknesses on the robot was labelled slow to self right, but they didn't actually have... A self writing mechanism. They didn't have really anything. It was slow, it was sluggish, the forks were very slow, it was very low. It really wasn't a good design, was it? Um, and it was painted gold, mainly because the team had run out of yellow paint. It all felt very rushed, and like I said, Kim Davis, the, uh, the team captain, was not happy at all. It just didn't work, did it? Series 6 version of Panic Attack. I th the the gold painted robots trying to emphasise the fact that they could reach to gold place once again first spot it didn't really quite work out did it so f unfortunately for Panic Attack Series Six version was the worst and they very quickly reverted back to the yellow well known robot for Extreme Series Two there we go now we move on to Robot Rewind now we're going to rewind all the way back to the first part of the Robot Wars archive, the, yeah, the, the, first, the first few wars, because we are now rewinding to just have a quick look back at 
menacing mortis. <laughs> what can you say about this robot? It made it four appearances altogether in the wars. Um, Rob Knight and Arthur Chilcott, of course, were the two main uh, team members of Mortis. We're going to review each series, but throughout its campaign in each series, it was never really liked, was it? They didn't like the team. I mean, okay, the team were quite cocky and arrogant. They claimed that the robot was worth £40,000. Was it? Was it really? I heard a rumour that it was built for less than a thousand pounds. Am I am I wrong there? Please leave a comment below if I am wrong, but I heard a rumour it was nowhere near worth forty thousand pounds. Now uh, they had a, a good campaign in series one, of course. It was one of the most it was the deadliest acts we saw in series one, even more powerful than Shunt, where they lost in the heat final against Recyclops in the first ever judge's decision. Very close, quite controversial. Uh, yeah, I mean, pe people thought that Mortis should have won that judge's decision to go through to the grand final. But anyway, I think Recyclops just had the edge. Um, they came back. Now, this is what confuses me here, because they were always billed as the favourites. In Series 2 as well, they were ranked number 2 in Series 2. They didn't get through to the final. They should have been at least seeded seven because there were six robots in the grand final of two. Mortis, okay, a favourite, should have been at series, uh, seeded seven, I think, at least. Uh, yeah, it, strange. Anyway, it came back bigger, better with the axe. Um, had a great heat. Uh, defeated uh, Ramesses II and Oblivion in its heat. Uh, then got through to the uh, semi-finals, of course, losing out to Panic Attack. As you can see there. And for me, this was Mortis at its peak, really. Mortis in Series 2 was probably the best incarnation of Mortis. Um, and I think, really, for me, this is where the team kind of got a bit of flack because there was a, a, an instance in one of the trials in the pinball and they were told to, to redo the, the trial because a spike had damaged the tracks and because they were allowed to redo it <clears throat> no other competitor was allowed to have a, a, a rematch sort of thing and I don't think the, uh, the competitors the Roboteers backstage really liked that so I think that's where where the uh, I don't know the hatred came really for, 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 the, for Mortis because even in they came back for series three in the pits when they're in the in the fights they, they just hated Mortis for some reason the reason is, as we know now, potentially could be that incident in Series 2. Um, worst campaign ever, I think, in Series 3. I'm going to mention in a later edition of the reactivated the seeding system for Series 3, but I think Mortis was... Mortis against Gravedigger, it should have been like a heat final sort of fight. Anyway, Gravedigger won, and they didn't get even through to the heat final. They came back for Series 4, got through to the heat final. They were seeded, of course, losing out to Steg 2. But everything just seemed a bit all over the place for Mortis. The flipper never really worked. The axe, they had trouble with the axe. They couldn't self-write. And, yeah, a bit underwhelming. They had potential. I think they were one of the unluckiest robots, along with Behemoth, in the whole series. However, their final appearance was the War of Independence, beating Ghettobot and then a grudge match with Panic Attack in the second round. Um, and quite fittingly, against Frenzy, they won. They won a trophy, which was brilliant. That was the last time we ever saw Mortis. So there we go. Mortis. Menacing Mortis. One of my favourite robots from the early days. Uh, there we have it. Thank you very much for Mortis. Now we go on to a quickly, a floor flipper. Oh my goodness me, yes. Now that a particular piece of bad editing in the Dieter and Terra Australis fight in the International League Tournament. After the fight had finished... There was a very odd cut. If you notice that House Robots on Patrol, that episode, Sergeant Bash wasn't featured. And for some reason, there was a very obvious cut of Dieter being flamed by Sergeant Bash with Steel Avenger in shot. It was a terrible piece of editing. Um, so, obviously, it didn't happen. I don't know how Dieter even caught fire in the first place, but they obviously just wanted to make it look as if Dieter had caught fire. So, what do we do? What do we do with... Floor flippers, what do we do with floors in the arena? We flip them. Thank you, Dieter. Over you go.
Thank you. Off we go to a merchandise memory section, and today we are reviewing Pussycat. Pussycat. Pussycat came out at the same time as Panic Attack. We purchased Pussycat at the same time, Christmas 2001. It looks brilliant, Pussycat, one of the better looking robots. I had a very big issue, once again, with the weapon. It just didn't work. Look, I'm spinning it now, and you can hear it. You can, you can hear it. It's like a pullback. And you think, oh, it just, it'll spin. And it never quite span. So Pussycat was just a bit of plastic with a, I don't know, with a dud disc on the end. But like I said, it looked great, the, the painting and everything. Of course, Pussycat also came with, I don't really know what it is, to be honest. It was sort of like a pendulum pendulum thing that you put in the, a trial run on the, in the, like a gauntlet. There's a little bit that's come off here. Uh, that's because we used the spikes on our arena, so we hacked this bit off. Uh, yes, but then the robots would then go through like that. Pussycat, there we can see. So Pussycat for me, there you can see, there's the card. Like I said, looked good, and but it didn't just didn't work. It pulled back fine, but again, compared to other robots, uh, other toys in this se section of in this yes um, uh, in this era this this part this six robots that we had that we could get at the time um, uh, the Pussycat's blade just didn't quite spin it still doesn't spin and I don't know why still not spinning spin no it's still not spinning. Okay, there we go. Anyway, so Pussycat for me. Underwhelming. Uh, yeah, what can I say? Pussycat, there we go. Right, let's move on to your questions. We quickly have time for a couple of questions here. Uh, thank you to Olivy2302. Why did you never add... Sorry, let's just revert back. I've totally forgot. Um, Bob Bit, if you see in the screen here, in the background, <laughs> this is what I mean, it's all live, I could, I've could, i already faulted. Um, Bob Bit, there we can see in the background, yes, is a robot from a series, and if we just zoom out, Cassius from series two, so well done to anyone who got that correct. Back to your question, Olivy2302, why did you never add Cassius Chrome in our series? One thing we never did in our series was build a Lego version of a house robot, we just couldn't really justify the, I don't know, we thought it was maybe a bit of a, a gimmick building a, a Lego house robot, it just looked a bit too comical for us in, in the actual series. And of course Cassius Chrome anyway was a really bad addition to the house robot crew, so we couldn't really add anything with Cassius Chrome, it would just wouldn't have looked good. If they'd made a toy, we would have, we would have included it, but no, we wouldn't have, certainly wouldn't have built it. Thank you, Olivia 2302 Have I got time for another question? Yes, I have. Uh, Bob Builder, uh, thank you. Well, welcome back to the channel. Nice to see you again. Other than the champions, which robot would you turn into a pullback from the reboot series? Good question. So series 8 to 10, excluding, um, yes, Apollo... Uh, but yes, carbide, um, an eruption. I, th I would love to have seen nuts, and the reason why, because nuts came had two little, uh, like a, a, a tree or robots, wasn't it? It was like a Gemini, but with with three, and it would have made great additions. I think a little little extras in in your toy collection with nuts, and of course the flail. I think nuts would have been really good. Seuss. So that's what the, you've, I've, Cease's just called. I've uh, not got time for any more of your questions. Yes, like I said, Pussycat before, I was meant to say, but the next best batch of robots, this is probably the least impressive because of because of that. Anyway, that's that's what I was meant to say about Pussycat. Thank you all so much for watching. Uh, subscribe, download, share, and we'll see you very soon on the next episode of Reactivated. <laughs>